how to hire great people. Saturday morning up, good spot for coffee, Masola Hotel near Girona and just had the Entrepreneurs Organization Barcelona chapter retreat. How to hire great people. Tony Robbins says there's three things you want to see in someone to decide to hire them. The first, can they do the job today? The second, will they do the job long term? The third, do they fit with you, with the team, with the ethos and the culture of your organization? And he says, number one, can they do the job? Is usually pretty easy to see. Uh, one or two meetings, asking them to do two or three bits of work that are of the types of I'm um, hiring someone for marketing, seeing them write the copy for a blog post, seeing them think through an overall marketing plan for how we would spend the money for the next few months to achieve the targets. So number one is usually pretty easy. Uh, you can see if someone can do the job today. The second, I think, is, is where I have a challenge. I tend to see the best in the people around me. I see what they're capable of. But people don't give you their best. What they give you is what their nature is. And I think the only way to see will they do this long term is look into the past and see what things have they sustainably done over time. What, what is their personality? Are they an extrovert or an introvert? Do they love thinking and debating? Or do they like pleasing people and, and spending time really helping others? And, and I think you know, if you want a salesperson you love a, and you've got an introvert debater, they're never going to sell. They're going to argue their way into the annoyance of every customer. So being clear that long term there needs to be a fit between what this job long term entails and who this person is and will want to be. And the third, team fit. And I think you know, this can be very hard because it's hard to find a previous organization that has been the same as yours. But I think attitude the energy they bring. If you look, you know, very often, every couple of months, I ask every member of the team just to let me know who of the other people on our team has most made their life better over the last three months. So to give me a name, who in our organization, the presence of that person has made your life better for them being there. And it's usually not the most competent, not the most motivated. It's the ones with the really good attitude that have a deep personal understanding of why we're doing this work and how to help others develop. And I think you know, there are those that are very competent, very motivated, but they just have a knack of irritating people with each interaction. And to me, you know, my business I'm not building it over the next three, four years to sell. I decided this is a business I want to do every day for the rest of my life. So it becomes very important, the energy and the, the sense of connectedness and the sense of shared purpose in the organization. So these three things, can they do jo the job now? Will they do the job in the long term? And do they fit with the, the team, the organization? Have a great week. We've just finished the EO, the Entrepreneurs Organization Barcelona Chapter Retreat here about uh, 10 minutes outside of Girona, about an hour and 10 minutes north of Barcelona. And beautiful day. Now going to go and uh, play some tennis with uh, my daughter and my wife. Have a great day. So thank you again for your subscribes, your comments, your likes. I asked in a previous video, what's the most important lesson that you have learned in your life? 
I'll put a link to that video and I would love if you would reflect and share whether in the comments, an email, however you can reach out to me on the blog, there's many ways of getting to me, I would love to hear what's the most important lesson that you have learned so far in life. Have a great one.